anything broken? You went to the mine, didn't you? Uh, why didn't you tell us? I'm sorry, Mom. Jude! Honey, don't! What if something had happened to the girls? Did you think it all before charging off? I did whatever I could do to help. I tried, unlike you, Dad. Why, you little... <laughs> Please don't be so hard on him. He did well accomplishing his task. You're on your feet. Thanks to these two. <sighs> Try not to overdo it now. Hurry up and get back into the chair. Right. Darling. Hmm. Leia, take her to the clinic at once. Yes, Doctor. Well, you know what, Mila? You're gonna need some serious physical therapy. Right. Sorry to be a burden, Leia. Hey, no worries. That's my job. Jude, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Seasonal winds are kicking in. Time sure flies. But I still can't believe Mila's being discharged today. I bet the doc was floored by her rapid recovery. Heck if I know. Dad and I barely talk. Mila will be along as soon as she's ready. Care to explain this? What's that? A wanted poster? From honor student to fugitive, huh? It's not like it affects you. What did you do? The poster makes it sound like you stole something. Stole? That thing Mila gave to Ivor. Was that it? Speak properly, young man. Uh, forget it. So now what? You gonna yell at Mila for corrupting me? You haven't exactly been nice to her. Jude, Jude. You're so naive. You still don't know what she is. She's finally out. Mila! <laughs> Mila! 
I'm fine. Ah, I've missed the fresh air. How about taking a little walk? Good idea. Let's drill to the Sea Haven. We'll take it slow. She never stops moving forward under her own power, no matter what happens. Do you know why, Jude? What's this? No. Why now, after all this time? What's the deal with that wanted poster? It has something to do with Fenmont, right? That's where you met Mila. She's trying to destroy a secret Rashigal military weapon. It uses something called a Spyrex. She swears it's her mission to save the world from those things. A Spyrex. Huh? Jude, buddy, super pal, slap me some face! What in the world? Elise, what are you doing here? Well, we came to see you. We wanted to congratulate you on your recovery. But we never expected a miracle. Nice to see you on your feet. It's all thanks to Jude and Leia. Rowan! It has been a while, Jude. And a pleasure to meet you, young lady. My name is Rowan. Oh, uh... Hello. So this is the device responsible for your miraculous recovery. In Asperixis, you call it? Fascinating. Will you be sticking around for a while? Lady Drissel insisted that I take a vacation, and Miss Elise was most persistent in her desire to see Mila. Don't blame us, Butler! You're the one who's been getting sloppy on the job lately! That's not like you. It's true. This old butler has been quite distracted as of late. Indeed. One concern in particular is at the forefront of my mind. I see. I wish we had more time to listen to the whole story, but... Mila and I are planning to leave La Ronde as soon as possible. Probably tomorrow. I don't remember saying that. I know you well enough by now. <sighs> but you are still recovering. What could be so important in Fenmont that you must leave at once? A weapon they call the Lance of Kresnik. As long as it endures, mankind and spirit kind are doomed to extinction. Who built it? The King of Rashigal? You cannot reach Fenmont without once again heading for Fort Gandala. 
Things ended badly for you the last time you visited that place, if you'll recall. Are you not afraid? No. I fear nothing in this world. Except that one day, I may lose the willpower to complete my mission. Why is this mission so gosh darn important to you? Because I am Maxwell. It is my duty to protect this world. Maxwell, you say? The spirit? Mila's a spirit? Is it true? What? But that doesn't matter, does it? It's not gonna change who we know her as. Come on, everyone. No use standing around talking. Let's go back inside. Sounds like a plan. It's been a while. Could have been longer. You got my message, right, Doc? She won't wake up, will she? Don't worry. She's worn out from weeks of physical therapy. Therapy, huh? Did you get her to spill the key's location? That's not my job. I'm finished with Exodus. Ouch, that hurts right here, you know. I owe this woman a great debt. Why? Because she turned that pipsqueak son of yours into a man? Watch your mouth! Just tell me what you know and I'll be out of your hair. I'm just the messenger. Ivor. It's possible she gave the key to someone named Ivor. That's all I know. Now, never bother me again. See? That wasn't so hard. Did I really do the right thing? Are you all set? Yeah, believe it or not. To be honest, I'm still in shock that you're leaving. You could have given us a little more warning. Sorry. It's your decision, honey. What about Dad? Still fuming. I see. Well, I'm eager to get going. Shall we be off? Huh? We've still got some time until the boat departs. True, but Elise and Rowan came all the way here to wish me well. It would be rude not to bid them goodbye before leaving. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Medicine, biology, history, literature. There are some fascinating books here. Never realized you like to read so much. Humans like to record all sorts of things. About the world, about others, about themselves. There's no better way to learn about the human realm. So it's your main source of information. I always thought that the Lord of Spirits had the power to just know everything. The concept of an omniscient deity is a common notion. Humans long for beings of absolute power. So much so that at times, They'll even sacrifice their lives for the mere idea of one. Never mind that humans only imagined such perfect beings to make up for their own imperfections. You may be right. At least, that's what I read in a book. Now, this handwritten book looks very intriguing. 
Jude Mathis, Developmental Diary. Wait, what? Hmm. For some reason, it's been placed right next to Bedwetting Causes and Cures. C come on, Mila. We don't have time for reading. We've got a world to save. Morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. Are you certain this is a good idea? Yes. I have a responsibility to my mission. To the world. And you wish to remain true to that burden? You are such a strong, proud woman. Seeing your determination, it reopens some old wounds. What do you mean? Lord Klein tasked me with saving this country. His dying words have weighed heavily on my mind lately. Am I even capable of such a task? Can I put a stop to Noctigal's schemes? Back at Fort Gondala, it seemed like he knew you. He is a friend of mine. One of my oldest. So that's the source of your concern. Whether you can fight against a friend or not. No way! If he was a real friend, you wouldn't fight him! Fretting over it won't strengthen your resolve. Only willpower can do that. For now, will you come with us? I'm sorry? You could still grapple with these issues if you like, but a human life is short. Time is of the essence. You might as well keep moving forward while you worry. Hesitation is a common human failing, after all. Why not come along, Rowan? I'd feel safer with you around anyway. <laughs> Your words ring true. Caving to worry and doubt would only waste my time. And this old man is not growing any younger. Does that mean... Yes. Please allow me to accompany you. I'll come too. Sorry, Elise. You should head back home to Drissel. Miss Elise, I need you to give the young mistress a message. Tell her that I have headed to Fenmont. But... Hmm? I will ask an acquaintance of mine in Sapstrath Seahaven to escort Elise home. But Elise is heading back to Sherylton, right? Won't we be heading in the same direction? I have an idea. Would you allow me to handle this matter? Sure. Let's stick together until we have to board the ship. Okay. And here I thought we were super pals, Jude. Guess not. This is tough. I don't know which martial arts to use. You simply have to experiment with them all. It's the only way to find the ones that suit your style. Well, hello there. Good day, Master Sonia. Is Leia around? No, I haven't seen her all day. She hasn't even done her chores. She'll be home before dinner. She won't want to miss my cooking. I see. It's unfortunate that we missed her. Yeah. Master Sonia, Mila and I are leaving on another journey. Please tell Leia goodbye for us. Is that right? Well, don't worry. I'll tell her. You go on and have a safe trip. Thank you. She's going to get so depressed again with you gone. And then you'll see her getting depressed and get even more depressed yourself. Well, come on. Don't you feel sorry for her? I feel sorry for the poor woman who's stuck with a bunch of weaklings for a husband and daughter. And that would be me. I see your tongue is still as sharp as your fist is strong. Isn't that what you love about me? 
And yet I can't help but hope that Leia grows up to take after me. I wonder why. What did you just say? Interesting. This must be what they call a domestic spat. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is how they express their love for each other. Not so different from your own family, huh, Jude? Don't forget to write them sometimes, okay? And send a letter to Leia while you're at it. Uh, sure. Where's Leia? I wanted to thank her. This ship is bound for Ajul. Is this part of the plan you mentioned? It is. If you hatch this plan, then we know it will work. You're not going to make amends with your father? What's the point, Mom? We're minutes from leaving. Your father is just worried about you, honey. Please understand that. I hate to impose, but would you look after this young lady for a few days? Someone from Sapstrath Seahaven will be coming to pick her up. Can you watch her until then? Oh, she's adorable. Yes, of course. I'll take good care of her. This kind of abandonment could really stunt our emotional growth and stuff and things! Jude! Dad, I've made up my mind. I'm going with Mila. You're not going anywhere with that woman. The thing she's gotten you involved with. Looky here. I just can't get rid of you people, can I? Alvin? My new job didn't really pan out. You know, I still haven't worked off all the money I got last time, so I guess you're stuck with me. You're coming with us? You, you know this man? Yeah, we're old traveling buddies. Alvin! Can you believe these meanies are abandoning us? You poor little spud. You can fight just as well as they can. Come on, let's bring the kid and her toy along. It'll be just like old times. But Alvin... Don't worry, I'll protect her if things get dicey. Come on, Rowan. You're stuck with us, Butler! <laughs> Last call for boarding. The ship will be departing momentarily. If we can't fight people off, I guess they have to come. Well then, what are you waiting for? Hurry aboard! Yay! It seems I am no match for you. And now you two. Right. Yeah, I better get aboard. Jude! Dad. Don't you have something to say to your parents? Goodbye. Remember, taking responsibility for your actions is part of becoming an adult. Don't worry. You are doing the right thing. Take care of my son. This tub's bound for Lakutum Sea Haven? I thought you were heading for Fenmont. You're asking this now? You really do go with the flow, huh? Like, literally. I couldn't care less where we wind up. I'm only here to look after Miss Elise. And me, me, me! The man's back together! You're not exactly part of the bargain. <laughs> Rowan. Please tell us your plan for taking us to Ajul. Very well. I believe trying to force our way through Fort Gondala now would be a suicide mission, to put it bluntly. I saw the fortress's security columns being activated as we were escaping, right after Mila was injured. And those are... They're weapons made by humans using Earth spirits. 
It would take an entire division of soldiers to defeat those automata, and only if they had a clever strategy. But the Sea Roots to Fenmon are still closed. So if we're heading to Ajul... You mean to cross from Ajul to Fenmont over land? <laughs> That's quite a hike. What do we do about Fezabel Marsh? Oh yeah, that's true. That swamp apparently stretches forever north of Fenmont. It's supposed to be the natural equivalent of Fort Gandala in terms of fortification. Isn't that marsh impossible to cross? Something about the spirit climb being too severe? Most of the time. But the interseasonal winds have blown, which means that Solemn is upon us. That means the spirit climb has shifted from Ephrita to Renom. Thezabel Marsh should be possible. For now, anyway. If you say so. I'm not sure I understand either. Uh, in other words... We're good to go if we hustle through the marshes, right? Exactly. In any case, hustling is the order of the day. It seems we have little time left. Why? What's gonna happen? I have received word that even after you left Sheraton, the Golems and Fort Gondola remain activated. This does not bode well for us. It's a clear sign that Rashagal is readying for open war. With who? With Ajul? Why would they want to do that? I must destroy the Lance of Kresnik before it can be used in battle. <laughs> oh! What's wrong? There's a person in there! Huh? Friend of yours? <laughs> yeah, a real barrel of fun. Uh, uh, I got so bored waiting in there, I must have fallen asleep. Then you'll be well rested for the return trip home. Return trip? I'm coming with you. This isn't a game. I know, right? Who are you? This is Alvin, our little buddy. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Leia. Pleasure to meet you too, little buddy. Little buddy? It's okay, right, Mila? I can come along? Hmm. Perhaps. Why do you want to? Wait, seriously? Your strength really inspired me back at the mine. I thought to myself, I want to be just like you. Hmm. Well? Is that it? I thought you might say that. Hold on. What is that? I filled this scrap of paper with all kinds of reasons. Take a look. Reasons why you should come with us? Yep, at least a hundred. <laughs> very well. You can come with us. I like you. You're so very... human. You've got to be kidding. Okay, now that it's all official. I'm happy to join. Thanks for asking. Drissel gave me sure is pretty. I better put it somewhere safe. Tipo, leave it to me. <laughs> that should do it. Did you see that? Elise stuffed her pendant inside Tipo. Maybe Tipo's actually an accessory case? It would explain the bright colors. Shh, they're coming back. I 
I want to see the pendant one more time. Tipo! Roger that! <laughs> it's as pretty as I remembered. Right? Ugh. I just don't understand women at all. You and me both, kid. You and me both. <laughs> You're in a fine mood, old timer. Oh, and did you overhear that? How embarrassing. That's a nice melody. What song is that? It's more of a visualization exercise. I'm practicing the rhythm I use when channeling spirits. Huh. I knew you had an artistic flair to your channeling, but I didn't know you used music. So that must be why they call you the conductor. Right, because he uses his musical talent when channeling spirits. Ah, uh, well, not exactly. I must confess that I can't actually read music or play any instruments. What? The conductor can't even read music? Then what are you doing when you wave that baton? That's from a dance we used to perform in our town's summer fair. <laughs> the steps of the dance are perfect for measuring the timing of my arts. Oh. I'd be so much happier if I hadn't asked. Leia, you can't just sneak onto a ship. That's against the law. Oh, really, Mr. Rashigal's most wanted? She does have you there. Oh, don't worry. I gave the sailors free coupons to my family's lodge in exchange for my passage. By the way, how were you able to figure out that we were headed to Lakutum Sea Haven? <laughs> Funny story. I got on a ship that I assumed was going to Sapstrap, but it turned out to be Lakutum bound. Wait, so you got on the wrong ship and found us purely by chance? Dumb luck is truly a frightful thing. Everyone sure has gotten stronger. Especially you. You've really improved. I appreciate the increased strength, but I worry I'm bulking up too much. Never took you for one to care. Of course. The Lord of Spirits needs a suitable vessel. Better to be toned than to be out of shape. Totally. Strength is beauty. I think it's a good look. Buff Mila is the best Mila. <laughs> Well, if everyone thinks so, maybe I will try to tone up a bit more. Do it, Mila! Yoked out bazongas! Okay, yoked out bazongas! I'm not sure you'd want that. Hey, Alvin, why is Tipo always talking about bazongas? What does that even mean? Oh, he finally asks. It seems you're ready to take the first steps towards becoming a man. Why do you have to make everything so weird? Forget I even asked. Bazongas are the burning fire at the heart of manhood. <laughs> Rowan? Jude, there are times to play it cool, but a man who fears his own passions is no man at all. Yes, exactly what I was trying to say. I'm not even sure I know what we're talking about. Then you will never know Bazongas. You have to want it, Jude. You have to need it. Then teach me about Bazongas. I can barely hear you. You have to mean it. <gasps> teach me about Bazongas! Whoa! Don't go shouting things like that! Don't scold him, Leia. I read about this in a book. It's called Puberty. We're supposed to be understanding and supportive. Mm -hmm. Don't hate us. There's no shame in being burned by the fire of manhood. <laughs> I've been at the top of my game lately. Only a matter of time before I'm completely unstoppable. You really have been looking good. Especially with that technique where you stretch out your staff. Right, right? That's my super secret tech. I want one. That's so cool. When I stretch out, that's my super secret tech. That's not a super secret anything. You're just made of stretchy material. Sorry, Tipo, but mine's in a whole nother league. I guess that's fair. Leia must have spent a lot of time and energy developing that. You don't know the half of it. Installing the springs and the switch was a ton of work. The... springs? Your staff is spring-loaded? That's just like a toy. That's all it is? 
What? Why is everyone so disappointed? It took me forever to come up with that. Well, I'll give you points for the ingenuity. You left Laronde without even telling your parents, right? Shouldn't you go back home to see them? Your mom's probably still fuming. Y yeah Is it safe to leave Giselle behind? Oh, I assure you that I'm not the only one looking out for her. The house staff has served the Cheryl family for years, and the citizens of Sherylton are always supportive. It's all due to Lord Klein's fair leadership. It's not just that. Drissel works really hard to stay strong. She's so cool! No wonder she's Ellie's friend! Indeed. We are all quite proud of our young lady Cheryl. Let's all strive to make her as proud of us. The sea air is making me feel unpleasant. What were all those notes that you gave to Mila? Notes? Uh, oh, those weren't notes. Those were free massage coupons. What? But why? Case closed. Just let it go already. Hey, Mila, what was in all those notes Leia gave you? Notes? Oh, those were... Free massage coupons. Huh? Oh. Yes. They were free massage coupons. Perhaps I'll use one right now. Uh, one massage coming right up. Hmm. You sure are tense today. Am I? Hey, that... Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Massages are not bad at all. I know, right? What is going on with these two? Hey, are we close to Niakara? Are we? Don't you want to drop by? Why? I have no business there. Is there some reason you want to go? No, of course not. I just figured the villagers might be worried. They worship you, remember? I appreciate your concern for the villagers' well-being. But we have no time for detours. If we follow the Lakutum High Road North, we shall reach a city known as Shandu. We should head there first. Hold your horses. What about that monster that prowls the high road? What's it called? The Lord of Lakutum? My, you are well informed. Rest assured, the Lord of Lakutum is a slave to spirit climbs just like any other monster. Now that we have shifted into Renome, the beast would be positively timid. I doubt it will venture anywhere near the high road. See, little buddy? to be scared. Don't expect me to pluck you from the monster's jaws, bud. Right then. Let's hit the high road. All right. Now this is some pretty nice gear. You really are cutting an impressive figure. I am quite impressed with these armaments. 
I'm all the stronger for the skill of their craftsmen. I don't know. You were pretty strong to begin with. Ta-da! Look! Look, everyone, look! Check out my awesome new duds! Not bad. Not bad. Might look a tad classier if you cut off the price tags. All right! Another wall scaled! I'm always surprised at how you're able to channel spirits without having to perform an incantation. Is it that surprising? No normal human could do that. When channeling a spirit, the incantation is supposed to serve as the contract between the parties. How do you channel spirits without a contract? I don't do anything particularly special. When I offer mana to the spirits, I just infuse it with my desires. Get your act together and use your art, and no backtalk. Something like that. That's not a contract! That's a threat! It's not good to coddle people, be they spirit or human. Wouldn't you agree? I yes ma'am! Whatever you say! Quite a surprising answer indeed. With Mila, when isn't it? For some reason, sunsets always bring back memories from when I was little. For me, it's the ocean. The sound of crashing waves gets old memories flooding back. Interesting. Those have the same effect on me, too. You have childhood memories? Of course I do. Doesn't everyone? I know I'd love to hear them. <laughs> well, if an opportunity presents itself, I'd be happy to share. If an opportunity presents itself, like when? Hmm... Crashing waves at sunset? The Sea Haven sure is beautiful at sunset. Yes, there really is something special about it. I know, right? When I see the sky glow red like that, all my bad memories just get washed away. Just try not to forget anything important. Shut up! This must be the sensation humans know as hunger. Let's stop and eat something soon. Didn't we just eat? <sighs> Wait, isn't this... The building where Klein's assassin was hiding? Yeah. On Noctical's orders, I imagine. Regardless, the responsibility for Lord Klein's death lies solely on my shoulders. Why would you say that? It wasn't any of our faults. But unfortunately it is. Do you remember the arrow that pierced his heart? Yeah, I remember it being pretty unusual. It's a highly lethal design used by Noctagal's personal guard. It was an invention of a Roshagal military tactician. He employed those arrows in his battles, and they brought him many great victories. Wait, that sounds like... Yes. I was that tactician. Back then, I was known as the Conductor, and cared only about flaunting my abilities. Now you've paid the price. Alvin, come on! No, he's absolutely right. In the end, my abilities couldn't protect the one person I had sworn to keep safe. The only thing they're good for is killing. I don't think that's how Klein viewed you, though. Even in his last words, he wanted you to look over the country. If he believed you were only good for killing, he never would have said such things. Thank you, my friends. I still have much to do before I can fulfill Master Klein's last request. But my regret cuts all the deeper for knowing my arrows took the life of a man who trusted me so. Hmm.
I'm home. You're okay. Of course he is. I've been with him the whole time. Jude, I need you to leave us alone for a bit. How come? Because I said so. Hmm. You know kids will rebel if you don't tell them what's up, right? You're the one who'd be in trouble if I told him what's up. Come now, you make it sound like I'm holding Jude hostage. Aren't you? If anything, I'm protecting him from Exodus. Not to mention, we're friends that trust and rely on each other. <sighs> Believe what you want. No skin off my back. But you know, your son may be a lot more grown up than you realize. He's just a child going through a rebellious phase. Isn't that the phase that turns kids into adults? Maybe he's not there yet, but he ain't no child either. <sighs> Must be tough being a dad, sacrificing so many things for your family, only to have your son grow up and leave you. That's just how it works. I accept that. You always were like that, Dr. Mathis. I can see why Jude became an honor student. What were you talking about? Just chatting about our old people diseases. Want the details? No, that's okay. You and Dad have a right to discuss what you want to. How very prudent of you, as always. Guess he's still got some kid in him after all. My stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Again with this one. Good.
What you got there? This? It's a pendant. I've seen that before. Isn't that Mila's? You said you treasured that pendant. I did. That's why I gave it to Jude. Hmm. A gift from Mila, huh? A treasured relic of Lord Maxwell herself. I wonder how much I could hawk that for. It's just a bead made out of glass. Its value is purely sentimental. How interesting. Could we ask you to tell us the story behind it? Was it about 14 years ago? I left near carriages for a day. I remember happening across some children and playing games with them. I thought you just stayed in your shrine while people worshipped you. Normally, yes. That was the first and last time I ever played like humans do. Even after I told them who I was, they didn't hold back in the slightest. They beat me soundly at tag in hide and seek. I'm glad you didn't use the power of the four to win. I might have, but I had ordered the four away on a special mission that day. So if they had been there, you really would have used them? A special mission for the four, 14 years ago, huh? They were wild, rambunctious children. But when I left, they gave me that glass bead and said we could play again tomorrow. They must have wanted to be friends. You know, I never felt closer to humans than I did on that day. That was when I knew I wanted to protect them. A lovely story. I know just how you feel. Got that? You're not allowed to see him anymore. Who asked you? I'm old enough to choose my own boyfriends. Damn it, why won't you listen to me? Out of my way! I'm sorry. My little sister's in a bad mood right now. Why must she torture me like this? If only our parents were still alive. That boyfriend of hers has problems, but when I tell her not to see him, well, you saw what happened. But isn't that her choice to make? I know, but I can't bear to watch her make a mistake like that. I'm sorry, I need to go look for her. I know you're hiding there. Give me a break. Where does she get off talking about me like that? So why do you stay with her? Just go off on your own. I can't. She's been sick and weak for as long as I can remember. She needs my help. Hmm. Besides, she's my sister. Interesting. Oh crap, there she is! See ya! Say, Mila, do you have a family? No. Though the four may be something close to one. Do you ever wish you had one? No. I can't say it's an idea that I've really thought about. I see. Having my own family. Huh. No, that's ridiculous.
at this! More wanted posters of Jude and Mila! Whoa, you both look so evil! Seriously, what was the military thinking when they made these? These jokers protect your country? Actually, they use a special spirit art expressly for the purpose of creating these posters. Instead of focusing on outward appearances, the art renders one's deepest essence into physical form. Seriously? So this poster is actually showing how we are on the inside? Impossible. I can sort of see it, actually. Look how well this illustration captures Mila's callousness. And the one of Jude captures his surprisingly decisive side like nothing I've ever seen. The more I look at it, the more it really resembles Jude and Mila. Oh no! They'll be caught for sure! Wow, I didn't realize it was so bad. I was a fool not to fear this poster. To think that human aesthetics might be our undoing. Oh dear. How am I going to tell them that it was all a joke now?